my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm an attorney with Goldman and Associates. And a lot of times we get calls about domestic violence cases and it's really uh, sort of directed to what's going to happen in the case. People are, are, are facing charges. They want to know what, what, what's going to be. Um, how's it going to turn out? Um, somebody may have filed domestic violence charges against somebody and they want to know how that's going to turn out. So let's talk a little bit about that. I want to focus my comments today on what is likely to happen in a situation where somebody creates a domestic violence complaint against their spouse and then decides they don't want to go forward with it anymore. Believe it or not, that is a very, very common scenario. I'll tell you what it looks like. There's an argument going on between husband and wife. Maybe they argue a lot. Maybe it's the dynamic of the relationship. There's a lot of fighting. One of them uh, says something that they shouldn't, or maybe says something that's completely inappropriate and somewhat threatening. All of a sudden, somebody makes a 911 call and the cops show up, and they take someone away. It's usually the husband. What's going to happen in that scenario when the wife decides, you know what, I probably instigated this, or I shouldn't have done that, this, or, or what, he's out of the house now, and nobody's paying the bills, I really regret this, what do I do? Well, I will tell you this. You have to understand something, and this is a lesson for everybody who's in this scenario. The police are not marriage counselors. They're involved in law and order. They're involved in public safety. If somebody calls because there's a domestic violence situation, they want to arrest someone and pull someone out of the scenario so that you can be safe. Uh, they're not interested uh, being used as pawns in either a would-be divorce or in some weird amalgam of, of, of a relationship that you're trying to work out. When you start a case, you must understand something. Going to the police and having a complaint sworn out for someone's arrest is not you versus them. It's the people of the state of Michigan versus them, or sometimes people of the city of such and such versus them. You're just a witness. And that means it's their case, not yours. And what that means is when you decide, you wake up, oh, geez, I don't know why I did that. I better call it off. It's not yours to call off. You don't have the authority to say, you know what, I'm shutting it down. If you sue someone in civil court and you change your mind, uh, you can, under certain circumstances, just get it dismissed. That is not the case with a criminal matter. Now, having said that, what's going to happen? What's going to happen if you decide you changed your mind and the case is going on? Well, I will tell you this. You know, the police uh, prosecutor's office, they, they have the right to go forward with it anyway. Remember, you're just a witness. They can go forward based on whatever other evidence they have and try to convict that guy of domestic violence. The fact of the matter is, though, that if they don't have a complaining witness, if all they have is maybe somebody who heard something or some report that somebody wrote, but they don't have somebody to come in and testify and point the accusing finger at someone, that case unravels very quickly. Generally speaking, in most cases, the prosecutor is not going to be more interested in that case than you are, okay? So if you're not interested in it, they're not interested in it. Um, do they have options? Could they, if you don't show up, could they ask for a warrant for your arrest and bring you in as a material witness? Yeah, I guess they could, but in most cases, they won't. In most cases, if you decide you don't want to go forward, um, or upon further reflection, you decided that maybe it was more your fault than, than hers, more your fault than his, whatever the case may be, in most scenarios, that case is going to die on the vine. And um, when that happens, the case will be dismissed and, and there'll be no further action. You have to understand, though, it can't be a situation where it's the boy who cried wolf. You know, if, if you start and stop and start and stop multiple domestic violence cases, ultimately you're going to have a problem. Either you will be subpoenaed to come forward and stand before a judge and explain why you're doing what you're doing, or the, the police simply won't react at all when you call for assistance, and that's not a good thing. So obviously we learn one thing from this. This is not a situation to be trifled with. You need to realize what goes on in these cases, and obviously if you have any questions about it, give us a call and we'll be glad to help you out.